So you meet this beautiful woman, you have a gorgeous family. Tell us a little bit about your spiritual pilgrimage because you are an active part of Pastor Mac Richard's church in Lake Hills. Where's Pastor Mac? Mac, where are you, Pastor? Pastor, are you here? There's his, his better half is over here. His better, oh yeah. She's my first cousin, Julie Stan. She is, is Let's this hear girl? it right yeah. there. Let's hear it. Julie, Julie. Julie Richard. Yeah. In the house. Yeah, in the house. I've always, you know, I've always knew and believed in God. I just didn't lead my life that way. Yes. Um, I've never put a lot into being a celebrity. That, mm -hmm. I, that just kind of flies right over my head, you know, because uh, that's just not really who I am. Yes. You know, um, but as you can imagine, you get exposed to a lot of different things, um, you know, because of what you do. And, you know, I, live, I lived a, a pretty excessive lifestyle um, and, and I didn't have a, you know, I, I believe in God, but I wasn't living my life for God. Yes. And, um, somehow or another, <laughs> I met the, uh, I even actually get a little choked up. Wow. She is, uh, she's awesome. <laughs> I love you too. Thank you. I needed that. I needed that save right there. <laughs> I was, I was about to lose my whole character. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but uh, let, me, let me back up a little bit. Okay. So my wife, my wife actually worked with WWE too. Her name's her wrestling Michelle McCool. So when she got there, there was two people that she didn't want to meet. Kane and yours truly. <laughs> Terrified. Did not want anything to do with me. Uh, <laughs> and it, it was funny because she has this unbelievable work, work ethic, you know. So she, was, she would get to the arenas early and try and get around, you know, some of the, the, our producers, our agents. That, and not in the sense that you would think agents, like not mm -hmm. like, you know, I'm going to make this deal for you. That's, they, they ran our, our non-televised events. So, but they were all really good hands and good wrestlers mm -hmm. through their careers and now they work behind the scenes. So she would pick their brains and, 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 and try and get them to get in the ring and work with her. And it, it just caught my eye because I, I, you know, I was like, no, you never, you never, you know, you never cross over that, that line. And uh, I always told guys, you don't, don't date people that you work with and mm -hmm. this is not gonna work. I said it for years and then I broke my own, yeah. my own motto. My, but, but anyway, so I, got, I ended up getting to know her and it, you know, I was just like, wow, she's really passionate about this. And mm -hmm. you could tell that she was genuinely, this is what she was wanting to do. It wasn't a stair step to Hollywood or anything else. This is, this was, this is her, you know, she was passionate. And um, so, you know, finally, you know, after a long time of her chasing me around, I was like, <laughs> not true at all. <laughs> Finally, I, 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 you know, she realized that I was not Satan, and uh, yeah. <laughs> we, so we end, we ended up, you know, we, we ended up dating, and eventually she was living in Florida, and then she comes to Austin, and she started going to Lake Hills first, and uh, I was like, okay, go, yeah, you know, I'll be here when you get home, just, uh -huh. you know, go ahead and do your thing. So she says, would you please just just go to come to church with me one time. I'm like, babe, look, I'm gonna walk in there and the rafters are gonna start shaking. And, uh, I mean, I, I, you know, I, I believe in God, I'm good. Just, I don't wanna, you know, it's not, it's not gonna work. But she, you know, she was very persistent and she, she wanted, you know, she wanted me to be the man that I could be. And, and that has nothing to do with being the undertaker. That's um, right. And so I went and uh, I was, I was, it was just the perfect circumstance at the, at the perfect time. She, she pushed me and I went reluctantly, but once I got there and you know, I, I grew up, I grew up Catholic mm -hmm. and you know, so I'm thinking to myself, man, oh man, I don't want to kneel. I don't want to get down on the pew. <laughs> I mean, after 17 surgeries, you could figure my body doesn't really feel good all the time. So I'm like, I'm like, so there were no pews. There were no, you know, I didn't know there was no kneeling and everything. Uh -huh. 
And I was just, I just had this, once again, it was kind of like the Eggman deal. Like I was, I was getting myself worked up, right? Yeah. Because I, I was thinking, okay, all right, pastor's going to see me and he is just going to throw fire and brimstone right at me. <laughs> Boom. Sinner, sinner, <laughs> you know. And it, 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 and it wasn't nothing like that. Mac and, and Julie awesome. and his family, they, they were really awesome. And it was, it was more, it was more of a, like of a conversation, you know? Mm -hmm. And I found myself from being, you know, kind of, tense and pensive to kind of leaning in and like, wow, this is, yeah, this is, this is, this is pretty cool. This is, yeah. Wow. And that started my, my journey. Yes. Back to leading my life the way I should. Yes. And, and, and Isn't that great? Thank you. <laughs> Michelle, and I, I I can't wait for you to meet her one day. She is a very strong woman, and she had to be. Um, and she, I mean, she's the one that, that, that put me in the right place for me to get back my life back on track again to what really matters. And I'm, you know, obviously I'm forever indebted just for that. And not even counting how, you know, she's an awesome mom and, you know, she actually just did her mobile loaves and fish training so she's just, she's awesome. She's, she brings the best, she brings the best out of me. And you, you were telling me too, when we've talked, it, it's so interesting and, and just, just to hear, hear what, what an amazing testimony of, of someone bringing you to church, of course, someone you love so much. And then you, I don't want to put words in your mouth, but I believe you were telling me like how you knew about God, but then that personal relationship, that was, the, that was that, 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 yeah. trigger yeah absolutely that was I, I wouldn't have been able to give you I, I wouldn't be able to recite any kind of scripture whatsoever that first day yes I knew there was you know like I said I was raised Catholic in a, yeah. in a, in a, in a God-fearing home but I just you know all my brothers all my brothers had to go to Catholic school and you yeah. know taught by the nuns and, mm -hmm. and their hands pop with the rulers <laughs> and all that I, st I still hear it when, we're, when I go home all the time about how how rough they had it but um, it, it was yeah, it, it was the it was the it was the start of 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 me and my journey, yes. and, and realizing that there was a whole nother part to to life that I was missing out on, and um, I'm not perfect. Nor am I. I no, no one's perfect. No, no I, one I here that. is perfect. Mark. No, no, I, no, no. I, I get that. I mean, my, I'm still, you know, I'm, I'm still in my process. Yes, I'm, I'm getting there, but I spend, uh, you know. I spend a lot more time these days reading my Bible and, and, and uh, no. Excellent. 